Hello, Internet, and uh, welcome back to uh, Chubby Cat. You're here. You uh, are listening to us, and uh, we're brightening up your week on hump day. That's right. Best day of the week. <laughs> Riding them camels, or women, or men, or this animals, so or far. anything. I don't know. So it's we- so hard, like, because you want to be quick and witty <laughs> at the beginning of these podcasts, but, like, to cover all aspects, I don't want to leave anyone out. I don't know. So, I, I think we can men, say women we here in Chubby Cat do not condone sex with animals. Yeah, I mean, I don't. But if also if that's your like your thing, I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you no. But I don't. I don't think it's cool. Because <laughs> I, I don't feel like. I feel like it's okay for us to finally take a hard line. On <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's <laughs> if, a demographic. I guess can... I don't mind alienating. Okay, like... <laughs> real quick, real quick. Hello, welcome to episode 35. Um, your host with the most, Tom Conyers. Oh God, I just had a basset hound um, <laughs> nose up my asshole. He is sniffing around. Um, and uh, and I am joined by some brothers here. Um, if they want to introduce themselves. Yeah, we got uh, me, Jason. Jason. Me, Gabriel. Gabriel and Sterling. And Sterling. Gabe is back for another episode. It's what been up, what up? reprising his role as alternate Sterling, but with Sterling. Here. But with Sterling, yeah. yeah Sterling. Actually here. Welcome back, Sterling. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's, been, been, a, it's been two weeks. Yeah. It's been a couple eps. Um, we did one episode with Gabe and, and a two man cast. Me and Tom. Um, and also with Sterling back, we are now back in Chubby Cat Studios, but unfortunately, <laughs> I think we are losing Chubby Cat Studios. We probably. Yeah. Um, we always knew we had it on I, loan. I knew the day was going to come. And uh, I mean, it seemed like it went by pretty quick. Though. And you I knew just got it back, and then the same exact second you were confirmed, it is no longer. Gonna oh be yeah, there. no, no. They're yeah. like, we're camping <laughs> again next part. weekend. We're gonna camp a lot. And yeah. Like, All right. We are, mean, we are becoming campers. Yeah, we are gonna be. We're gonna that take this lifestyle. lifestyle. We are Harley campers. No, now. it smells like smoke barbecue in here, which is great. Duh, it does. Know. But I'm also sad to see Chubby Cat Studios go because <laughs> I, I knew yeah. the moment came when we we're helping them unload the trailer. And they're like, no, 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 I can just stay in here. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Yep. I was like, oh, we're not getting okay. That being said, though, they did they did make some nice structural improvements. They did. Um, and it smells like Phil's barbecue. Yeah, so. So not too bad. It's extraordinary. Um, but, yeah, so yeah. if you know of any office spaces or if you have a spare bedroom you want to rent us, let us know because we need a new studio space um, because my bedroom ain't cutting it. No. Um, but no, back to God. Donkey was, Funky. Especially with four of us. So yeah. have you guys it, ever seen it? a donkey show? No, okay. Mm. (laughs) What was the hesitation? hesitation, If we may ask. Invites. (laughs) I've had invites. Now, I've never had any reason to go to TJ. That being said, I'm sure there's donkey shows elsewhere. Yeah. I'm saying that for equality. (laughs) (laughs) No idea. Again, that equality. Now, Mm. in relation to something of that sort, I can tell you something my brother went through in Japan. I knew. That reminded me of it. Octopus show? N- no, oh. but very, very close to what I can only assume that is. Because you know what's that called? That's called beaking. Beaking? Yeah. yeah like with a beak. Yeah. Because because the octopus gets the beak in there and bites the clitoris off. Ah! I'm sorry. Really? Oh, <laughs> really? That is Thomas, not entertaining. Thomas is making shit up right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, is, well, is this is this is a true story. So if you if you've ever been to Japan and been frisky, and you, you can let us know that that this is true. So my brother was in the Marines. He went to Okinawa, Japan. <laughs> So he's he's telling me about what goes on over there. He's like, yeah, dude, you know, I got bored at one point, so a bunch of the guys took me out to a local a local bar, which I just thought was a bar. Ah. Fine, whatever, get some sake, get whatever drinks are going. I think totally I know where fine. this is going. Oh, it gets great. So apparently this girl shows up. He's like, oh, shit, this may be a strip club of sorts. So okay. at that point you think, all right, cool, chick's going to get naked, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We've seen that. That's whatever. But no, mind you. This is Japan, like mm-hmm. the start of anything weird and kinky and awesome. So this woman then takes, of course, a handful of ping pong balls, and she, and everyone, you know, my brother's like, okay, I wonder what she's gonna be doing. Maybe she's gonna juggle, and maybe she's gonna juggle with, you know, her hands. Not the case. She's gone. So she started, she started with um, the ping pong balls and decided to take all six of them and make them disappear inside of herself, and then she started shooting people in the audience. <laughs> She laid on her back, just shoots targeting. her legs up, and just foom, 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 just shooting people. And yes, and it was it was gross. But then this was what took the cake. What took the cake was the fact that she then took a banana and okay. peels it right and okay. sits it on this little stand, like this little candle holder. Okay, stabs it on. She then squats over on top of this banana. Okay, squats down, envelops the whole banana. Right. <laughs> she stands there, takes a, the cup that it, it was right by it, just stands there and oh, starts 
slicing perfect slices of this banana as she's pushing it out. She's cutting it with her vagina. So along those lines, I've not seen a donkey show. But I've, seen, I've, heard, I've heard of, of a, of a private things, Japanese so by seen, proxy. I've heard some shit. shit. She straight up like diced up a banana with her Kegel like skills. I, I would have to say that's pretty dope. That's impressive. Pretty dope. But no, I haven't seen a donkey show. I'm curious as to why you would bring that up. Have you? We were talking about, talking about animal 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 bestiality, bestiality. You got to follow this. You got to follow the train. That is true. I cannot wait for the hashtags on this episode. Um, but no, seriously. So I mean, yeah. For sure. Draw a hard line where you may. But again, like I said, like as long as you're not like having sex with a poor little kitten or like a little rabbit, sure. But okay, sorry. Okay. This is leading me down another tangent. Do you guys read about the guy who died by getting fucked by a horse? No. I did. What the fuck? It, it's his dick was the dick was too big, right? Well, yeah. Too, yeah. It's a horse. <laughs> yeah, it basically, will, it will kill basically it, the horse it wrecked punctured. this guy. Like it yeah, messes his In- insides and had internal bleeding and he died. Yeah. yeah, it can tear you. Like, yeah. why do you want... Okay. It's I, the size of an arm. I get yeah, it. Human if you, arm. If you're craving some dick in the butt, <laughs> that's fine. That's great. Get all the dick you can. Now, the problem with this dick is apparently he had, had conquered all dicks. Well, yeah. Because at that point, he's like, you know what? The only thing that's going to satisfy this butthole is a fucking horse. And that's a super challenge. That's another level of dick. (laughs) You missed Gabe flexing, everyone. For those of you who care, just the sound audience. Yeah, he brought uh, up the full forearm. The forearm and just. just I can only assume it it, it was like this big because I've seen a dick pull out its. Or (laughs) I've seen a horse pull its dick out. I've seen a dick pull out its horse. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, that was a good horse. It's true. But. Like so, he just had internal bleeding. Yeah, yeah messed up his it insides, literally ruptured his oh. all of his organs. Okay, real quick, Sterling. I like how you didn't believe the story and said what? No, and now you're giving facts on the story. What? I can only imagine what. I mean, I've heard of people using plungers oh, that is to service themselves. And Mason, they wait, with this, not the wooden handle. I'm assuming. Yes, the wooden handle. Oh, okay. kind of a like, plunger. I thought you meant like they were suctioning. Oh, no, and then wait, but they use and then they pull their thing out. They sit down on the like alien. plungers handle and have oh, literally just ridden it. Yeah, I've ridden it, but then have lost control. <gasps> oh no! And yeah, it has skewered their organs. So I can only imagine that something See, similar yeah, could I mean, happen if, if your, your legs ain't... give out and you just yeah, dude. full body weight down on it. I just oh, don't yeah. understand what. I, I, okay, sex apparently is the darkest of black magics because it makes you do the craziest shit. <laughs> like, is it that? How different is a horse? <laughs> here's a, here's a, here's the thing though. The I don't know that it's necessarily just sex. I think it's sex for an audience. Yes. Where you try to make yourself stand out, right? Just like our podcast, I we try guess. to we try to you know find our niche and differentiate. And apparently, there's, our niche is porn. There is, guess, you know, but there's a lot of porn out there. There, there is. And, and if an you're an amateur subject. trying to hit the scene and like make a bug, don't fuck a, a horse. I mean, why not? Well, okay. You'll be the guy who was able that to fuck a, a horse. At that point. That is a specialty audience. Yep. A very and if you special can, audience. If you can cater to that, there, I, I guess you're think, right. right. There probably, is money probably to be made. Probably not a lot of people taking horse dick in the ass. Yeah. At any no. given time, but that's, right? I don't, what's the demand for Six horse million dick? dollars. I'm sorry. Hold on. Is that the amount that this guy made? No, that's what he's offering. Six million dollars. Oh, to get fucked by a horse? But you get fucked by a horse five times in one year. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Not just a one-time thing. No, not now, a one-off. If I, chose, if I chose a one-off, can I get, like, <laughs> one mil? No, it's a contract oh, deal. A contract. Yeah. I have to get I have to get banged out by this huge, this big dick horse <laughs> five. five times. What? Okay, you can one schedule one the point. appointment. Can, no, I, I get to schedule. Yeah, so yeah. it's like... So but I can just <laughs> knock him out. Well, he, I, I mean, I, if, if you. he's going to want, like, a spectacle, he's, it's going to be a show. The so horse you, is going to want it to be a spectacle? <laughs> your manager. Guy, so your manager. <laughs> the manager, the guy who's running the show. Who's getting you the six mil. The guy who's running the show. He's going to be like, hey, look it. BC dubs. Ooh. I saw you in the mall in those tight, tight joggers. Totally mm-hmm. thought you could take a horse dick. <laughs> and I'm gonna joggers. throw this I'm gonna I throw saw this out. Seahawk tattoo and I knew you were used to, <laughs> used to getting, getting reamed. reamed the fuck and so out. <laughs> here's the deal. Here's the deal. So six million dollars. He's a natural. It was Damn. the first thing that crossed my mind. Six million dollars. <laughs> okay. You gotta make a trip down to the studio. Where is it? Five years. Mexico, dude. Mm-mm. Nope. Mexico. Canceled. You can't get to it. I refuse. You just refuse. And, because on, on the premise of Mexico. You or racist or book. I've, no. And it's, and no, it's and not I mean, that. It's, it's a top-end studio. It's like, oh, you okay. go there. Really it's like a sound end. stage. Really nice. It's like going to be online. You just you just know that. What type of area is this in? It's the studio. I've studio. never been. So I guess you can say this is this is an American's blind this is side okay, toward so, Mexico. So it's just like Mexico. You're talking like. 
Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. Okay, so this is like a Fox destination. Yeah. 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 Really? Not, but I know. Where you're about safe. to get fucked by you know also, you're, you're not going up to Hollywood. He's, yeah. Yeah. He's, get a horse he's yet to forget okay. about also, like, also, real quick, Gabe, real quick. Okay. Yes, there are some touristy towns, and there are like more towns like that where it's like a lot of shopping, like flea market kind of right, things, right, where, right. where you have a lot more shanty towns. But there's also like regular neighborhoods and shit in Mexico. Yeah, that, not, no, and that's what okay. I've seen, and I have yeah, yeah, seen that. Yeah. But like, because we're so close to TJ, and I have a bunch yeah. of friends that go to TJ. Yeah, TJ's, and of course, TJ's unless you go yourself, yeah, TJ is just like a hodgepodge of tourists and I'm everything. Just, the world, tourists but, and but the there's actually nowadays. But there's like honest. there's universities and schools. That's what I said. Like, I know they're civil, but it's like I don't want the audience to think that like oh shit. This Gabriel guy can't come on again because he doesn't like Mexicans. Not true. Love them. Love them. Okay. And I've just never been How much do you love them? Weird I'll tell you this. Right now. I'll tell you this. I've never been outside of America. Really? Okay. I've never cool. been out of the contiguous. We're getting out the subject. Exactly. Six so, million dollars. Six million. I go down to the studio. Get it's five a times a year. Five, it, no, within five, a year. Within a year. You just got to go there five times to, make, to film five horse. videos. To film five videos. So, yeah. So, five times a year, I'm getting fucked by a horse. Not five times a year. Sort of, just but it's one in year. one year. But just one year. So in one year... Your contract's saying five times a year. Oh, uh, I got it. Oh, sorry. you say five it times a year? It, it means that there's a continual yeah, thing. you're going to keep getting fucked by this What horse. if I do want to... You've developed a relationship with this horse. What if I build a contract? Now, okay, option mm. to renew, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Six like, million dollars to we're do We're talking it. one year right now. It would all have to be... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about that. Uh, that's you have the thing. A son, I have to get a fat chunk up front. And I'm just saying. No, you, oh, get, no, you get the you whole get, sum. I get the six no, million. No, don't, don't give him scenarios. Why not? I'll say you get paid out a portion each video, but you okay. have to. Okay. That's you still, have to do all song. five. Finish if you don't do all five, there'll be consequences. Like, like, okay. Like, um, <laughs> God, six million dollars. He's sweating over this question. And it's I honestly have to. Yeah. I mean. Dude, that's the world we live in, money-wise. Mm. Just yes or no? No. Okay. Perfect. Health-wise, right. no. Health-wise. What else are we talking about today? <laughs> no. let's, get, let's get off. Outside of getting fucked let's get off horse talking. I've got something that's semi-related but unrelated. It's in the, in the pornographic field. Okay, right. I swear to God, we talk about other stuff besides porn. We We're do. not all just really sad 20-something-year-olds no. sitting in a no. trailer you know, but talking about is, porn with our dicks in our hand. It's a free space. No, but this it's is like, something that came up recently, and I okay. need to put it forth to... My, my fellow gentlemen, scholars, as it were. Okay, I just don't want to alienate our rest of our audience. We do talk about other stuff. We do. Well, if, we do. If the other audience is listening to this and, they're, and they're, their line is porn, then they're listening to their own fucking podcast. Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying, if your line and is And it's not be, our fault that porn. the ones where we talk about porn do the best, so... <laughs> it's, it's true. It's Look true. at you. It's entertaining, because no, one, no one openly talks about porn. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. Go so for it. So I have to ask, would you guys let a girl fuck you in the Amazon position? Maybe what is said, the Amazon okay. position? Okay. Looking this up right now. Yeah, yeah, look it up. The Amazon position. The Amazon so, position. Yeah, feel free to I've look seen it up. where I mean, like, women, I, are, women are dominant. I'll look it up. And like, will hold you and it's that kind of stuff. Not, but, like, no, it's not like that. It is a very specific position. Now, it requires a little flexibility. And I mean I this, literal I flexibility. This. Everyone's got their phones out. Mm. And so I first came across this video <laughs> like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Who's fucking who in this video? It is the woman technically wait doing the dude. Wait, oh, yeah, so, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah. I mean... Oh, your video. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tom Scott video. I looked, I looked up photos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. That was very loud. <laughs> I can understand that line being drawn right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I was... Okay. I was curious if we... Now... So wait, is the Amazon her so, eating out the ass? Because no, no, no that's guy, how this no, video is starting out. The guy out. is no. like this. He puts his legs he up like this. He puts his legs as far she back as he can. She squats on top of his ass. I was asshole. like, where is the scrub bar? Yeah. <laughs> she squats on top. Also, real of quick, I've penis. never had a girl eat out my ass. And I don't think I'd be into it. It's this. That, so that the photo. It, it makes the woman look this like she's the best photo I can show like you. She is, she oh, so it looks the one like plowing. she it looks like she's the one who right. Right. like yeah. she's riding up and down, but it looks like she's That's then she like is, okay doing the. That's okay. That position just makes the guy look so inferior. <laughs> that's kind of the, yeah. The legs, the legs are up. The, that's why it's, it's a, called the Amazon position. It's a position. dominant thing. Yeah. It's, okay. Okay. It, just yeah, I'll do, do it. it. Yeah, I'll do, okay. do it. I'll do that in a heartbeat. That looks still busting the neck. It now. still looks fucking awesome. Although I don't know if I'm that flexible. That guy right now. Yeah, it, he's it, impressive. I don't know why he still has his sneakers on. Are you watching the video? Yeah, we're definitely watching the video. Yeah, where she is. He still has sneakers on. But no, it just kind of looks like a girl's on top. Really <laughs> but I would throw my legs up and just let it you know go ride. I actually want to say I feel like I would less prefer work. that position <laughs> because exactly, <laughs> it looks like a lot less work <laughs> over yeah. all the ages. No, because some of my does the pumping. No, because some of my favorite sex is when a girl's like, "Let me get on top and let, let me, me do some." Let work. me grind. Like, it no, out. no, no, no. Yeah. Like, I'll throw down some work, 
But right. if a girl wants to get in and say, hey, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm down for the grind. Okay. But, yeah. That's like, I was just, I was curious. I don't know why I'm, I'm still like... watching this. <laughs> Tom, Tom's still watching this. I thought you looked up photos. We just got this weird corner going on over here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, we gotta... <laughs> this video has been playing for like two minutes. Yep. <laughs> like, yep. It was a solid 30 <laughs> seconds of just ass eating. <laughs> it was. It, was definitely, well, it started out just ass eating, go and she was like, Amazon, man. "She's like ass eating, but like falling the balls and just jerking off." Like at, oh, it was I don't lot. know. I wow. did. There was I, a lot of stimulation. I gotta happening. ask then if we're talking about buttholes and being eaten. Have y'all ever gotten that butthole eaten? No, I already said no. Nope. Oh, uh, you you never did. No, you've never. <laughs> I've never Sterling, had I'm sorry. You've never had anyone toss that salad. Nah, man. You. No. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You that's what he, blows my mind. You I, know he has like a no fly zone. I have rule. one oh, zone that I don't like. Man, you don't seem like a limits guy at all. I know, I know, I like, know. Like, wow. But yeah, I just don't like things in my. In my butt. I, I, I'd have to agree. It surprised me. Mm. <laughs> sure and I let her know, you're going to have to let me know next time <laughs> yeah, that happens because a, I need to up. prep for your sake. <laughs> you don't attack a guy's butthole in bed without forewarning, <laughs> oh, like, hey, I think tonight really I'm going really. to be interested in butt play. You let me know. I just had some spicy ramen. I straight up, <laughs> I straight up. I don't had know a sort of concern be... for my health earlier, so maybe, <laughs> maybe we postpone. <laughs> You're like, here's the thing. I eat like a dumpster person <laughs> most of the time. You you ever see how a hot dogs made, babe? You ever see how a hot dogs made? Okay, I just want. Okay, you take the whole. Okay, you take the whole fucking factor, right? Okay. It's here. It's right here. Just put it in my that stomach. Is, that is an autobiography of my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> just letting you know. No one wants to fuck with that shit. No, no, no. All right. So All right. we got that talked about. <laughs> I, was, I was curious. I got you. I, just, I had to bring Jay. I didn't know it was going to lead to this. Uh, you know, had some topics you wanted to bust down before uh, we, you know. Otherwise, I've got prison stories. But that's that's about it. We can, we can get right, to detention that. Service. Detention center. Mm. Yeah, how does that work? You're allowed to talk about that? Yeah, like, what? where I is can, that line? I, I just can't say what facility names. I just can't manner. say, like, individuals' names realistically. Like, if I want to You like, can make up a name? I mean... Probably, but I feel like they might not be good. I'm not great at making up names. <laughs> yeah. It's just you know, a name. Yeah. You don't want to be hit for libel, but at the yeah. same time, right? Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, without going into extreme detail, but do you actually have, like, a story that pops out and you go, fuck, I really wish I could sit, like, tell this story? Oh, I could tell it. Oh, oh. There's li- there's no limits there's on There's no NDA. Yeah. I like, I like. As long as I don't stories. violate HIPAA, I, I'm basically good. I mean, yeah. The Hippocratic yeah. That's Oath? That's interesting. No, HIPAA. It's a HIPAA law. It's your... the, with the, the confidentiality, the confidentiality, like doctor, patient, yeah. and confidentiality? Yeah, the Hippocratic Oath. No, Hippocratic no. Oath is you have to, like, it, you, you cannot do, do harm. Do no harm. I'm going to look it wait, up right now. You wait, guys talk about something. Yeah, it's the same Hippocratic fucking thing. No, no, HIPAA is H I P A. is that is that... Is, yeah. What is that called? It's an acronym? HIPAA is HIPAA H-I-P-P-A. an acronym? H-I-P-P-A. Yeah. It's the acronym. Yeah. But then the Hippocratic... Then there's the Hippocratic Oath, which is after Hippocrates, which is an actual... Uh, he was a Greek, not Greek. Greek. It's not off. And what's his, and what is the Hippocratic Stop oath then? Dude. Who takes that oath? I'll look that up as well. I heard that from Sabuns. Okay, I mean, that Jason. Wrong. I'm sorry, I'm what? Sure <laughs> I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm listening to this sidebar. I'm pretty sure it's the Hippocratic oath versus. We're yeah. sitting straight across from each yeah. other, so me and Jason yeah. have crossfire right, right here. So, Jason, what is the Hippocratic oath? It, it do no harm. Yeah. Oh wait. They don't even actually make so doctors who, I mean, take it then anymore. Who's, oh wait, the doctors, doctors take, take say it. it. Yeah. Yeah, doctors used to, have to do it, and that was where like you. Like doctors in war, you know, like field surgeons, whatever, wouldn't carry guns. Like they weren't allowed to harm others. You have to do your profession to do your best, no matter what, to help this. No matter the side, no matter you know, no matter the person. Yeah. Oh, speaking Mm -hmm. of, saw this thing on on Reddit, by the way. So this connects with exactly what we were just talking about. This tripped me out because I don't know the 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 truth behind it or if how like true this is. But it was on a Reddit. Uh, the subreddit is that happened. That um, and so this person posted. Okay, for a quick. Go ahead. I, w- I was wrong. It's yeah, you're right. Privacy and confidentiality. Yeah. Okay. Hip- they call it from Hippocrates to HIPAA. Mm-hmm. HIPAA. Um, um, who made the Hippocratic? Speaking of the Hippocratic oath, this person straight butchered it. By the way, so they posted. It's if you don't know what this Reddit sub or this subreddit is, it's that happened. So it's, it's where people go to tell these stories of like either shutting these people down or like that they just wouldn't openly tell, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So I was reading this one that ends with a smiley face and it's like this person I really hated when I was younger came in. It was to... Hippocrates. I was, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's, it's Hippocrates. <laughs> came... Believe me, man, history major and an EMT. That's pretty much my, oh, like my, oh my yeah, you, bl- you blitzed it around then. I'll just look up Sawbones though. They, I'm sure they, they, for some reason I remember them citing someone else. It's entirely possible. I mean, they're, 
it could have been one of those things where like there's been a lot of times in medical history where like two people yeah. simultaneously discovered something or started doing something and one person got credit, you know? Yeah. So maybe that's what they're talking about. Like, oh. Yeah. Something like yeah. that where it's like, oh, like it's credited to Hippocrates, but also this other guy was like really famous for also like having right. that be his thing, but like no one remembers him. That's yeah, it's like how the, it's called, you know, chest thrust versus what we all would normally know. CPR? Was. No. The, uh, that's what I would have guessed. No, you know the hi- the quote unquote Heimlich, Heimlich. R- maneuver. But it's because people didn't want to keep paying that that guy that name, so they no just kidding. It. it is now chest thrust versus the quote it's unquote the straight up Heimlich, Heimlich maneuver. maneuver. Who that? I don't have to pay Heimlich, or do I? I don't know. Either way, so what I was saying really quick with the Hippocratic Oath, oh, yeah, real yeah, fast yeah. on the subreddit. So this this person's like, I'm a heart surgeon. This person I hated from my past came in. I killed them on purpose but made it look like they died in surgery smiley face but why would you post that on internet it was on reddit so it was a complete subreddit on that happened it was on reddit which you can't trace everyone knows which i'm sure you could trace so that's why i'm like (laughs) that's why i didn't know the truth behind it but i'm sitting there thinking about it like as i read that i'm like my god like there are sick people out there that honestly if you're a surgeon you have that access though that's the problem like you have if you you need to be a good person you because it one thing clicks, boom. Well, here's the thing too. I, listening to things like Sawbones and and just having friends in the medical field and stuff like, right. you don't go through the amount of work to become a surgeon in this to day and age to just be like, I want to hold someone's life in my hand. Like it's a shitload of work and right. years of your life. That's true. You and know, that's like what they call and it and a practice because work, it's never working like thirty six hours on eight off. You know, like. Goodness gracious. Like, in your residency, it's insane. You know, like, you have to really be committed to, like, wanting to save that, lives. Got, yeah, I've got respect. To make it to the point that you actually, like, right. are Holding in charge of that. that. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is very true. <clears throat> Thomas, how's the carpet feeling, by the way? Feels great on my toes. I Thomas love being barefoot. definitely has his shoes off right now, looking all kinds of I love pretty. being barefoot. <laughs> Thomas is pretty much always barefoot. Backing up a little bit, yeah. we were making a, a joke about your spicy rum and, and your butthole. So good, by the uh, way. That was let's, delicious. Let's tell that story real quick. Yeah, about, about your waitress and uh, yeah. how concerned she was. Dude, and right now, okay, the way I look right now, it, uh, so to the audience right now, I am I look like a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. <laughs> like, I'm, uh, my body gets very, I'm very, um, I'm very sweaty. I, my he glands glistens. are god awful. He does have a, he does have a real sheen. Yeah. On so right it now. takes the most minimal amount of uh, continuous heat, and so we're sitting at this restaurant, Lucky Chinese. Uh, delicious food, by the way. <laughs> wow. I, lucky whoa. Chinese. Lucky I didn't Chinese. want to say the full name. I don't want to owe them any money or anything. So, <laughs> Lucky <laughs> Chinese. I'd be really cool with uh, them sponsoring us, though. So. Oh, I would. Don't, yeah. That's not how a sponsorship works, but yeah. Know, but <laughs> it would be very cool. I'm just, just keep counting out. Ch- I'm just, 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 just counting out. I hope that someone there, there is listening and will click. Yeah, that would be great. Um, speaking of, if they do, that ramen was delicious. So, the first time I'd ever gotten the ramen, <laughs> the first time I'd ever gotten the ramen was today. <laughs> Great. I'm curious. <laughs> I was gonna post how high it was. <laughs> What's happening? Why is it so hot? Dude? <laughs> I always took a picture of this giant like sweat stain on Sterling's arm. Like, it's like raised. It was, really, it was just gonna be like so hot. In here. <laughs> it's, gonna be like, it's so hot in here. <laughs> it is so hot in here. I, I just look over and I see like I'm taking a sweat. picture. <laughs> And dude, we, I'm sure we all have them. Yeah. It's dude, fucking I'm, steamy I'm in, in here. I'm in a sweatshirt. <laughs> like, like and Sterling has his arm raised to, like, bend. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to air out right now, yeah. guys. It's not working. No, it's, it's very <laughs> 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 I'm like, Thomas is, like, really carefully lining it's up this photo. <laughs> It's, uh, it's both sides, but yeah. I wasn't even trying to draw attention to it. I was just like, oh, let's zoom in real quick. It's a good little, it's a good little like Wednesday post. Like, you guys, it was really hot in the studio yesterday. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Sorry, oh, that, that you... fucking killed me. Sorry to, oh. to steal your your so, future joke. So, oh my god. <laughs> so sorry. So Gabe's a sweaty man. This is where so, we're. So. Oh my stomach, my abdomen. <laughs> so, so we're sitting oh, down in this, in this booth. And I've never gone to uh, I've never gotten to, gone to get ramen outside of my own kitchen, so damn fly. I went and 
apparently you can get it spicy, regular, or what uh, we were all kind of curious about was the curry option. So if you actually have the idea of what curry ramen is... Let it's literally it's ramen with it's curry. The, the curry. I told you to put curry in there. <laughs> yes, we yeah. discussed this at the table. And we we did, like, but I didn't... What's the curry ramen? I'm like, you did put curry in the ramen. I just don't like curry, so yeah, it's a spice. It's what's not... the point in putting? Cur- but isn't curry like a dish to be served on its own on top of like rice and stuff? There is curry spicing, and then there's like curry, curry. the dish. Like a, yeah. Oh, uh, so. see, I'm not cultured. That's why I'm <clears> I'm with you, gentlemen. So I'm sitting down, and Oscar. I like spicy okay. foods. I thoroughly enjoy spicy, even though my body hey. does not really Stop. perform. So, we get this, and then as I have the server drops, we're yeah, right next to each other. Jason gets it too, and Oscar Sterling gets Stop. regular ramen, mm-hmm. and then Thomas why, got why some special chair? chow mein, which came out by the way like five to seven minutes before any of our food. Don't matter. Um, so I'm sitting there, and <laughs> our happy. server drops off both spices, and then decides to then continue and say Just good luck people. and then crosses her chest <laughs> yeah, she does a cross she to crosses god. herself yeah. like crosses herself to god in the most catholic manner good luck yeah. good she, luck white she, boys she drops yeah. them up and we're like thank you oh it's got jalapenos in it and she's like mm-hmm yeah good luck and then crosses herself and like folds her hands and walks away yeah just like it's she like, knows something what? that i definitely don't so at that point i turned to, to jason and the rest of the table and say well, now I'm terrified because uh, <laughs> I didn't Did I just make an $8 that. mistake? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What? I'm like, oh, okay. It says spicy, so whatever. I like spicy. Well, then I was like, all right, whatever. I see the jalapenos. I know that's going to be an issue. But I, I go into the broth. I taste it. I'm like, oh, shit, that ain't that bad. But I got nervous also because then Jason, before I tasted it, was like, oh, okay, sriracha's not needed. And for me, that's a problem because I'm like, I use sriracha to get it to the level. And so if it doesn't need sriracha, I'm like, it's at that fucking level. And I take a bite. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Apparently, my body does not agree. Because the server, in the the span of how long were we there, boys? Like, maybe 25, 30 minutes tops. Yeah, tops. We saw this chick like she was living with us. I swear to God. (laughs) She kept sitting, like, coming up to me. And asking, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? She dropped off some limes and was like, here, it cuts the spiciness. Yeah, this will help. And I'm like, all right. And now, usually, if I Mm. eat something spicy and it's too hot for me, I'll... (laughs) I'm doing that. I'm like sucking in all the air, trying to die for milk or bread. I was fine, but my body, on the other hand, it was being sneak attacked. So I'm dripping sweat he's, at this point. He's and just dripping like, and beet red too, right under the eyes. It literally looks like his eyeballs are sweating. I could not see any of this, but I knew I was getting a little glisteny. Well, apparently it got to the point where she was really concerned because she stood away. She's like. Oh my god, are you sure you don't want like anything else? Like you're dripping sweat and I was like, "No, I'm fine. I'm I'm totally fine." <coughs> but yeah, my server honestly honest to god thought I was I was probably going to have a yeah. some form of spicy like, heart attack. Pinch him in my rocker. You should be all right. But it was delicious cuz let me tell you guys, if you haven't had lucky chinese ramen from someone who just had it for the first time, like professional ramen outside of the the uh the kikoman packs. <laughs> um <laughs> Matcha ramen. Which is it? Yeah, Munchan. Munchan. They're both really hot commodities at the detention <laughs> center I work at. So oh yeah. People. The, speaking of, yeah, it was delicious. Really good ramen. Really made me sweat. Now I need a question to to, to Sterling because I meant to ask this before. At your prison, do they make prison pizzas? Oh yeah. Oh, have you it, guys ever heard of a prison pizza? Oh, God. No. No. Oh, it's delicious, actually. <laughs> it's something to see. It's the okay. They make that in something called spread. Spread. <laughs> okay. And it's spreads interesting. Spreads are the shit. So you, they, apparently that is the huge thing. And like they are like... When you're backed against the wall, you yeah. can make some crazy you, shit. These individuals, like they, some of them like become like prison cooks or, or detention You know what, real quick? Cooks. I would watch that on Food Network. You'd if they, watch that? If like a prison, former... Dude, the Great prison American chef. Prison Challenge. Dude, the Great American chef. Prison Challenge where you, like, you have to do stuff made in commissary. Straight up. I oh, would yeah. watch that shit out of that show. Oh, it's nuts. And dope. also, dude, we can sell it to TM. We can sell it to Food TM. Network. Okay, not to, okay. It sucks that you're in prison and like they pay you shit when you do your jobs, but the overhead costs for crew and talent, like, oh my pay. god, yeah. Oh my, we can make Nothing. this fucking show on on taxpayer dime. Yep, that's valid. Done. Yep. And then also, Hit me up, I think that will rehabilitate you'll, these you'll, guys. You literally pay us twice yeah. to make the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Hit telling you. me up, Food Network. I'll produce this show. But seriously, they like the prison pizza. I know it can. It, it's one of those things where it's a variety of different things. You can make your own kind of pizza, but it, the consistency, like your crust or your actual pie part of it, is ramen noodles. Okay. 
form together. So you take a, as many packs as you can, right? And you, crush you know, stuff, crush them up, up together. Throw them all into it like a big Doritos bag, right? Okay. Take a big Doritos bag. And some water. Some water. Just let it seep Make in it there. dough. Exactly. Make it the noodly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then you flatten it out. Like you drain the water out and then you just let it sit there flat. And you let it form together. Um, you let it form together. And Are you looking up a recipe right now? Take it up. No, I'm so, actually yeah. uh, Lexus is calling. Oh, okay. So yeah. So then, all right. Now that you've crushed up the dough and let it form together and kind of dry out, it dries and adheres to each other, and uh, so that gives you your crust. And then they'll use ketchup. They'll use any the other number of things, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, to make a sauce of some kind. And they can, or bar, or they'll use like barbecue sauce because they have access to barbecue sauce, or they'll mix like yeah. mustard and something else together to make a sauce. And then <clears throat> anything else, like I don't know, they'll either like snag bits of food, or they'll use like other commissary stuff, like the chicken from to make the it noodle a stuff to make, yeah, and uh, like it's cheese. A, it's impressive. Yeah, and they will make a. A, it's a legit kind of pizza. Yeah, you got to cut the bag off of it because you can't slide it out. You, at this point, everything is formed and forged together <laughs> so you cut the bag off of it and there you have a beautiful rectangular fucking totinos cut them on up ghetto rolled rigged and operated pizza it is and it's tasty i had one never made another one wanted to it's a lot of work but if you're in prison like the ingenuity there was it blew my mind i'm like Damn, I guess, yeah, it's you're back right, against the wall. You can really spice things up. Yeah, it's right up there with how, like, ingenuitive stoners are. Like, yes. How, how they can turn anything. Okay, so what's spread? Let's back yeah, up. I want, yeah. Spread. Spread. Also, real quick, before we spread, Gabe, how, when did you have this? Why did you have this? Yeah. I, <laughs> all right, so everyone's heard Thomas talk shit about Amarillo, Texas multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> during the dark times. Yeah. So check it out. During the dark, the dark times the dark in days. Amarillo, Texas. Yeah. That Amarillo sucks. I, I had a studio apartment in Amarillo, Texas. I Real quick, though, no I, that's furniture. where I would go if there was a zombie apocalypse because everyone would be fucking dead or gone. Yep. And you would, have, would have an have entire... To out to you would just have your entire city to yourself. <laughs> it's true. It's tr It really is true. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even dredge up the whole Amarillo thing. But yeah, in Amarillo, had my very first own apartment. It was a studio apartment. No furniture, no TV, like nothing. I was literally sleeping on the floor or looking out my window for eight hours a day at a tree. So, of course, <laughs> someone brought up to me, like, hey, you ever had a prison pizza? I'm like, don't know what that is. Interested in trying because I have only the ingredients. <laughs> so, it, was really, his ingredients. it was like I was pretty much just I was equipped for that same reason, like that exact yeah. reason. You're in your own. I had own the same amount of money as an inmate. <laughs> I had <laughs> just the same food supplies. I'm sorry to say, if you had the money for the inmate, you'd be doing better than you were in that role, man. I'm doing. Yeah. They, they actually. Okay, I was just curious. I just wanted to clarify so uh, that you wouldn't so viewers it. or listeners didn't think. Oh no no, no oh yeah, like disclaimer. Didn't, I've, ne I've never been in trouble with the law. I've gotten no. I've never even gotten a ticket. I've gotten to fix a ticket. You, you were there. <laughs> Thomas was. was with me. He got asked if, if there were weapons. bodies, weapons, drugs, or bodies in the vehicle. <laughs> and then also the sheriff um, asked for your ID, and when he saw your weight, he said, you know, it's illegal to lie on these. <laughs> <laughs> These, these are officers, <laughs> state patrol, like right outside of Flagstaff, Arizona. They oh scared the living shit out of me and Thomas. Yeah. It was if I good. could just dive into this real, real quick here, I, I get pulled over for what? What did they say? I it, it was your windshield. Your windshield had that's like, right, it had a huge crack. crack. So of course, in uh, I had a crack on the bottom of the windshield in in Arizona. Luckily, they give you a fix it ticket where you have to just go get it fixed and blah 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 blah. Now he's like. Well, luckily you're not in California because apparently people, uh, cops in Arizona, fucking hate California. He's like, yeah, in California, they would have charged you the whole thing, but we're better in Arizona. I'm like, sweet, I'm fleeing California. I don't really want to be there. So I'm going to, uh, they pull us up, they pull me out of the car, leave Thomas there. I oh, have yeah. to get pulled to the squad car. Yeah, Mind you, I've never been pulled over. <laughs> I like, yeah, they're like, please step out of the car. Fucking I've got get all out of the my car. shit in my car. Yeah, and I'm just sitting and in the car. I'm like, Thomas is sitting there. There's <laughs> two seats available in this in this Honda that we're driving, right? <laughs> it's me in the driver's seat, squeezed in. <laughs> Thomas, squeezed into the passenger seat. Shit everywhere else, you know what I mean? So they pull us over, and I don't know if he was training the other officer, but one officer, Thomas. Main badass, my fucking door. We're gonna have to have you get out and come back to the squad car. I was like, I've never been pulled over. I've only seen this happen. They shouldn't ask you out of the car unless they need you out of the car to pull you back there. So now that you're in their zone to arrest the fuck out of you. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck did we do? Yeah, like we so were. 
Yeah. We did nothing. We weren't even speeding. That's what was so crazy. They must have been bored, dude. They had, had to have been, been bored. Had to have. We had not, we left air we left Flagstaff. You got like the super troopers. It was ten like, minutes. Yeah, we literally it was spent the ten night. Minutes of our hotel. We spent the night at Flagstaff. <laughs> Which was a great hotel. It was a great hotel. <laughs> right outside. Got pizza. Phenomenal. <laughs> you got me hooked up with my first BJ. Not at the hotel or right. with you, but when I got back to San Diego. Swing swing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or I'm sorry, not BJ. Handy. Hey, sorry. Yeah, Handy. I was gonna say sorry, audience. Wouldn't you have wished? <laughs> uh, no. So we, ten minutes outside of Flagstaff, pulled over. I'm now against the squad car, and just like Will Ferrell in Talladega Nights, I had no idea what the fuck to do with my hands. <laughs> so this, I'm like sitting there, like I put them in my pockets, and the sheriff was like, "Hey, boy, you need to take those hands out of your pockets." And I'm like, "All right." So I put them in the air. He goes, "Hey, boy, you need to put those hands down. Don't be putting them in the air." And I'm like, "What the fuck is happening?" And I'm putting them like doing like the Macarena or some shit like with my hands. And so as he's talking to me about where we're heading and all this stuff, my hands keep slowly creeping for the pockets. And he just, he had to warn me like five times. And then at one point he's like, boy, I swear to God, you, you reach for your pockets one more time. You're making me nervous as shit. And I was like, I was like, officer, I'm, to be totally honest, I am scared to death. I don't know what the fuck's happening. And I don't know what to do with my hands. So I, I think I stood there the rest of the time like this. Like my hands are just open. <laughs> kind of like if for the audience, I look like I'm, I'm asking someone, Why? 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 With my hands out. That's and that's how I had to talk to that officer. Why was I telling that story? Why was I telling that story? <laughs> oh, you got to fix it. You said. Oh yeah, you're the never been in trouble ticket. with the law. You're not in prison because you got to fix the ticket. That's true. Okay. Yeah, so I've never run into the law. I've only ever gotten a fix a ticket. I haven't. I didn't hear the part about the hands before. I didn't that's, hear, that's I, I heard about the fix a ticket part and the body the living line, shit out of me. Hadn't heard that. Yeah, because Thomas got stuck in the car. They wouldn't let Thomas out. <sighs> You yeah, got to but, talk to the deputy. Yeah, the guy was asking me questions. He's like, yeah, the knife, so, weapons, bodies in the car. And I was complete like... Complete separate I was like, scenarios I was like, happening. kitchen kitchen knives. And he's like, oh, you just leave those in the back. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. He's so, like, where are you going? And we're like, fucking Amarillo, Texas. Yeah, he's asking Thomas all my personal shit. Like, mind you, Thomas is coming along because he's a fucking dope-ass friend. He's like, yo, this is the last time I'm going to see Gabe for God knows how long. Why not? I got time on my hands. Let's fucking go. A couple days, whatever. So, two separate scenarios happening here. I'm getting questioned on the squad car. Thomas, along for the ride, is seeing his buddy, who's moving out of his life, possibly getting arrested. <laughs> the best send-off. No, it was, <laughs> fucking, it was <laughs> fucking weird. And oh, getting asked so if there were bodies in the car. And Thomas, I can only assume, was fucking terrified. Because he's just sitting in a car full of shit. And I'm stuck outside of the car with just cops and like ready to go bad boys yeah that was that was quite the time yeah but yeah little you know I ended up never getting that fixed by the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> fuck you Arizona <laughs> so what is that being said I respect all law enforcement anywhere and everywhere so <laughs> that being said I apologize for not getting fixed but I don't own my car anymore so <laughs> so what is what is spread what? All right. yes alright uh, oh, spread, spread. Is again something creative that they make to put on or enhance or just to like supplement the food, and spread. they will mix it and make it with anything. Like if they can get get a little like ill-gotten Ill like flour and like Pepsi, they'll make it together and they'll like bake stuff or like they'll get a little bit of cinnamon and like peanut butter. They'll make it. They'll cook it up in the microwave and they'll turn it into this. Goop. Gel goop or Ooh. jelly stuff and put on stuff and they are very like territorial and, like and inmates are incredibly passionate about their spread and if you throw it away because they oh, will they will make an no. entire jar of it to save for later oh but it's a comp like that you have to confiscate it we right? have to technically confiscate oh, it because it is something God. they have it is they have taken something and altered it from the state it come in like that, hooch basically and oh that, my God. that it's an uncontrolled substance. That yeah. sucks. So now, again, we're not super harsh about spread their food. That's like <laughs> right. fine, fine. But they leave it out sometimes for to days. To ferment. It ferments. Oh, it rots. becomes alcoholic. Well, technically. not even that. Oh, like, it just they, just, they just leave it out and it spoils. It just becomes nasty. Yeah. Oh, shit. It just, and that's like a health concern. So then we have to. And this will oh, no. piss people off to no end. This will, this will start fights. This will start... Incidents where they will lock themselves in the room and we have to then get a team to come and pull them out. Oh shit, the cert team has to come in? Exactly. That sucks. Is, that, and this is over something, mind you, called fucking spread. Spread. And it's will, basically like prison mayo. Yeah. Ooh, that think, sounds awful. Or prison, <laughs> I was like, prison Nutella. I was thinking, yeah, more <laughs> of like pistachio better. butter. Yeah. Oh, so, God. So, but yeah, butter. and people are super 
aggro about their spread, man. So you're they saying there's a market for inmates who just got out where I can produce poorly made spreads. Quote unquote spreads. So yeah. they can still toast. feel used to yeah. just feel it's right a at home. transition but into I'll, but Nutella. Yeah. So yeah, and I'll just put preserves in it so they can leave it out. Yeah. But yeah, so uh that's interesting. Man, TM. Bro, I'm on fire. <laughs> but yeah. And I'm making fucking money as shit. It's, Fuck it's, my job. I'm losing my job in two weeks. I already got it covered. Yeah. It's all TM. Supposedly they <laughs> supposedly some of them taste good. Some of them the some of the spreads smell rancid. Really? And this isn't even talking like prison hooch, but yeah, so anything that is like altered from its original state Damn. is technically not allowed. Two million dollars. But you have to eat a jar of a mystery, whole jar, a whole jar of mystery spread. Now, mystery now it's only it, it would be only oh. be it only be edible green. It's something that would, they okay, would get their hands. Yeah. It wouldn't be like oh, I made this spread for you, and okay, there's some feces I'll, in there or something. Yeah, no, that's no, what I was thinking, no. Like, this is like straight this is a there. spread that like inmates would eat. Yeah. But it's a whole jar, and the person's like, boom, mystery jar of spread. And like a spoon. Dollars. I do it. And it's like yeah. I mean, yeah, a plastic a plastic spoon. How much? Okay, let's not get crazy. How much money? Two million. Two million. Oh. I you better fucking hand me two jars. I, I want to be fair to you. <laughs> like, like, if they're the eating it... Give me a, give me the unless, savory spread and yeah. the dessert spread, and I'll do them both. Hey, give me the fucking flavors. Like, but what if it's, menu. like, the worst thing you've ever eaten? It's fine. I've eaten some terrible I, things before. The worst thing I've ever smelled in food form? Kimchi. You don't like kimchi? No, I don't like the smell of kimchi. Oh, okay. I, don't know I mean, there's some rancid kimchi. kimchi. Yeah, really my dad kimchi. literally had a jar of it from... Actu- uh, it's a... Viet- is it, it's a Viet- Korean. It's a Korean dish. That's right. So... <clears throat> my uncle was married to a Korean or a yeah a Korean woman so she had literally just brought some back from Korea straight up official he had it in the fridge and we had to throw it out at one point because like he would use it as a weapon he would open the <laughs> lid and just go and like it would kill the house can't do that to your stepmom oh, she's, 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 gross. she's too nice she is nice Sandy is a very nice woman yeah. Sandy rules yeah I, I actually remember... asked my dad about you the other day Thomas because he was um I was on video chat with him. I was like, hey, you remember Tomalass? Yeah. Because they used to call Thomas Tomalass. Tomalass. <laughs> yeah, it made me giggle. Uh, Dude, the only... They really, they thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed you, by the way. Yeah. Like, they still talk about you. Like, I was like, hey, you guys remember Tomalass? Yeah. Yeah, like, we're hanging out again. He's like, no friggin' way. Yeah, there's three really? things, three things like, I remember about that trip. I lit your pants on fire. Yeah. First night we were there. I watched Doom with your dad while you were like yes. in your bedroom sulking. Great movie. And I was yeah. like, I had, a bon- I had a bonding moment with your dad, Scott. I was like, yeah. all right. Dude, my dad took Thomas the fuck in. Yeah. I'm sure he was just like, oh, thank God. I- yeah. th- thank God my son brought this. And you then, know what uh, I mean? Like, thank then, God. And then I smoked a Gandalf pipe with your dad. That was my first time smoking a pipe. And I came back and I was like, dude, we got to smoke pipes. Yeah, you know what? The- Do you remember the saber tooth pipe that he had? It was like the porcelain that had a saber tooth on the yeah. pipe. That was supposed to be mine. Yeah. That that mofo keeps forgetting. Yeah, I'm All sure. I'm saying is I would be smoking it, but <laughs> yeah. he keeps forgetting it. But I'd be but... Down if, you, if y'all want to start smoking perhaps. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I guess I guess there's one good thing in Amarillo, Texas, and that's your family. No, they're not there anymore, sir. Amarillo oh yeah, fuck that place. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> ground. well, my dad is still there because now now Sandy lives in Fort Worth. He lives in Amarillo because he's still working for the company he works for that I can't yeah. disclose. Yes. Um, and then she works for I I don't I can't remember if she works for Bell Helicopter, but she oh. works down in Fort. Fort Worth. Oh, nice. By the way, if you guys have never been to Fort Worth, Texas, Fort Worth, Dallas area, you need to go. It is Her gorgeous. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Things. Like, you take downtown San Diego, right? This it's is a weird Fort way Worth to I'm talking podcast. about. I know. <laughs> downtown Fort Worth Texas. looks like downtown, like a downtown area, big buildings, but it's like a small town. Like, I literally, they have a condo, and so I was on this area overlooking downtown, like the heart of downtown Everything. Fort Worth. And there's like these four lane roads no and way. like one small truck. Wow. Motherfucker. Coming down. What was the point of the story? Just to tell you how awesome Fort Worth is. It's like it looks big city, but it has the small town feel. Dope. Dope. Well, if you want to move to Fort Worth, Texas, I don't. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our podcast when you uh, move out there um, on iTunes. So you, you can, can give us a review. You're staring at trees. For and again, we stare at trees. That was Amarillo. Hours a day. No, that's Amarillo. Um, Fort Worth, lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. Amarillo, in Fort Worth. Texas. You better hope you don't break just don't down. move to Austin. But it's a small town, so don't forget that. Part. Don't forget that part. Let me tell you, everyone but, uh, there knows you fucked everyone. But there. yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's very true. Check us out on it. iTunes. Um, tell your friends and family to listen to us. Maybe not your grandparents, because um, we might be a little too risky. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for episode 35. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Um, Thank you guys. RIP us uh, because we are dying from the heat. We are dying. Oh, can we Uh, walk outside for just a minute? We're still recording, but (laughs) okay. (laughs) Um, also if you want to email us, you can email us at chubbycatpodcast at gmail.com. Um, and also hit us up on our social on our Instagram and Twitter. Both of those are at Chubby Cat Crew, um, and we want to engage with you. Actually, I want to get engaged. That's my goal. 2017. Get 2017. Get engaged. No longer being single. I with need you. A, that wow. is way, with you. You know. You, you know like who you are. Now. I need. I need from, a sugar mama. Let's do it. Let's do. That's actually. Let's do it. Support I know of a um, support our next Chubby podcast. Oh. Let me tell you about it. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, and then uh, until next time, um, when we're gonna be homeless on the street, recording this in the streets. Um, Rub a dub chub.